Captain Picard, it's wonderful to see you again. Can you Mr. hear me? Secretary General, yes, fantastic. Just at the end of the flight around the world, we can have a nice discussion together. That's wonderful. Tout va bien, tout va bien. Tout va bien. But it's very yes. moving. Very moving because since I a year and a half, the entire team is working to make this flight around the world a success. And now I am 150 miles away from the destination. So I it's see. a fantastic moment. And the moment where we can continue to promote our common values. I see, I see. I know you are in the final hours of your trip uh, around the world, and I'd like to uh, congratulate. Uh, this is a historic uh, day for you. Uh, Captain Andre Borsberg, a Solar Impulse team, and you. And congratulations, my deepest admiration and respect for your courage. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary General. You are so nice to say that it's a historic moment, and I hope that it will allow to leverage on this success, to have the heads of states in this world and the big key opinion leaders understand the value of clean technologies and renewable energy, because this is the goal. We have to fight to make a better world. We cannot sit and accept the world being destroyed and polluted. So Solar Impulse is one example. You have been showing a lot of examples also. And all together, we have to take it further. Now, now this is a very historic day, not only for you, for, but humanity. Uh, when we talked last uh, April, April 22nd, uh, I was here together with the hundreds of uh, world leaders who were signing, uh, signing uh, Paris, uh, accord, Paris Agreement on Climate Change. I think you are making another historic record. And I was also very pleased to see you in JFK. I was deeply impressed by the airplane uh, which you are flying. And now, today, I'm honored to see you uh, as you prepare to land in uh, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, uh, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, where you started. And you may be ending your journey, but uh, the journey to a sustainable world is just the beginning. You are helping pilot us to that the future. Uh, throughout your vision, your determination, your courage, and your inspiration, and also your great example. Now, you have been flying more than 40,000 kilometers without fuel, but you, I know that you have much energy, much energy. Uh, thank you for spreading this message of sustainability uh, around the world. Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary General. Your words really touch me. And I hope that all the people who follow our discussion and all the people who follow your work and the flight of Solar Impulse will be inspired to use all these technologies because we can divide by two the CO2 emissions of our world if we were to replace the old polluting technologies by the modern clean technologies. And this makes sense. It makes profits. It creates jobs. And it also protects the environment. This is why it is important that also also the deniers of climate change understand that it is not necessary always to be ecological, but they have to be logical in terms of using the new clean technologies. Mm -hmm. And let's work together for that. 
We have so much to do, and I will have more time after the flight around the world to work together with you as a goodwill ambassador for the United Nations environmental program. So let's continue together, Mr. Secretary General, and thank you so much for your support. But, but thank you. Thank you very much. You have helped to prove that we don't have to wait to take And uh, experimentation can help us build a sustainable world. Uh, you are one of the persons who are really showing uh, by example. Uh, when I uh, met you in New York, every so often, uh, pioneers, pioneers come along uh, who upset conventional, so-called conventional wisdom. This is very important. And uh, those people who expand the boundaries of the possible, that's what uh, you are doing. Uh, you and the Solar Impulse team uh, are really, uh, are really uh, doing great, great things for uh, humanity. Now, uh, as you might have seen the movie Star Trek, uh, Captain, his name is... Uh, uh, Picard, uh, is by coincidence, now you are really doing a great, uh, you are real uh, captain of Star Trek. Uh, and I wish you a safe travel. I know that you will still have to fly nine more hours, but you have endured all this hardship, uh, bad weather, wind, uh, you know, uh, all this you have been showing I think the maximum limit of a human capacity, human capacity, I sincerely hope that uh, you will be able to land uh, safely and send a great message to, uh, to, to the world. Thank you very much for your encouragement. It will be a very emotional moment for the team when I will land in Abu Dhabi, but it will be the beginning of the continuation. And my goal is to create uh, the International Committee of Clean Technologies, like a World Council for Clean Technologies. And this does not exist yet to bring together all the people, all the actors of clean technologies in order to be able to have experts advising on a neutral basis the heads of state, the big key opinion leaders. So this will be the continuation of Solar Impulse as soon as I land in Abu Dhabi in nine hours. So you yeah. see that this flight around the world does not end at the landing. The big work will start at the landing. And I think it's a work that we have to do. So you are always welcome in our team. You were in New York, you have touched Solar Impulse with your hands, like a blessing, and today it flies to the destination. Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary General. Captain Picard, great strength, great determination, and courage and vision will help you complete this trip journey around the world I wish you all the best and good luck to you. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Captain Likewise. Pearl. All the best to you also. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.